Hello and welcome back. Today's a very quick video. I have a Recce W6 tube in this laser and I want to have a look at what the beam pattern looks like on a piece of wood just flat and then how it looks inside this acrylic block. Because if you've got a really good laser beam, it should create basically a perfect tangent ogive cone, like the end of a rocket, basically. And I've got this block of acrylic, which Russ from uh, Seba Multimedia, who does the RD Works Learning Labs, dropped off while he was visiting. And so I've got this, with this block, I'm gonna be able to see that. He was very kind to give that to me. And with this, we're gonna see how the beam looks just flat as it starts to mark material. So let's have a look first at the wood side of things. The first one I'm gonna do is about 9% power. Uh, my tube doesn't really turn on about 8%, 9% is just starting to come on, so it's just getting to ionization state. So I wanna see how that looks compared to say a higher power pulse where the tube is fully ionized. You'll notice there's two dots here. This is my beam combiner. Uh, you've got a reflection off the front of the beam combiner mirror and a reflection off the back of the beam combiner mirror. So don't worry too much about that. So here we go, pulsing. Might take a bit. Okay, we're not getting enough of a pulse there. I'm gonna go up to 10% power. So that's not warming up the wood at all. Still nothing. Eleven percent power. Still not enough to mark the wood without it being focused. So if this was actually focused through the lens, it would mark wood, but there's not enough beam there to do anything on the unfocused beam. Okay, there we go. We're starting to get on 12% power, a ring of burning. So that's our laser power. And that's not really ideal as far as I'm aware because if you had good power, you should have it pretty much in the center. So that's really interesting. So let's try a higher power and see if we get a better shape. Let's try 20% power. I'm gonna go over on the wood a little bit. Oh yeah, that's much better. So it's really interesting to see as it's just starting to ionize, we've only got a ring of laser versus very much so a point of laser at 20% power. Okay, so 30% power. Again, a very good spot. So it seems that as we're getting out of that ionization state, we might try a couple more tests here. So now jumping from 12% here to 15% power. Still very much so getting a ring. It's got to 17% power. I'm gonna use the back of this. Still a ring, but it's starting to fill in. So this is now 18%. And that is a full spot. So from 17 to 18%, we've gone from just a ring to a whole spot. So again, 18%. I can't get it to resemble really a ring at all. You can just start to see here, there's a little bit of a ring which is starting to fill in. Let's try that again over here. Yeah, so you can see the ring now. We've got a ghost of a ring with a ghost of a spot in the middle. So this must be just about the point where it's getting to full ionization. So if we go to 19% power, Straight away, not even a ghost of a ring there. Okay, so since we know that at about 20% power, we're getting full power burn, I'm gonna try this at just 20% power and see how I go with just burning into this acrylic at 20% power. So 
So it's very shallow and I did have to breathe across it, but we have got a bit of a divot there, which is a regular laser power curve look. So if I bring this up to a much higher power, we should get that same effect much quicker. So I'm gonna go 50% power. I'm gonna blow over this as I press the pulse button. Very similar shape in there. So 20% and 50% look pretty much identical other than the depth difference. So if we drop down to say 16% power, which is where we know it's definitely in that ring shape, let's see how this looks. I don't know if we'll even be able to mark the acrylic like this. Definitely getting a ring. So we're able to boil away a ring there pretty effectively, which is really interesting that in this pre-ionization, just ionizing state, we're getting this ring shape rather than the cone shape, which you would expect to see out of a laser beam. So if we bring this up to 18%, which is about where we were going before. So 18% last time on the wood, we were starting to see a little bit of a mark in the center. All right, what do we see? It's definitely got a ring shape, but there is more of the center being removed. So it does seem to be starting to come into that more cone shaped beam, which is really interesting to me. This is 130 watts of power. Yep, if I stop breathing across that, instantly catches fire. <laughs> so now we can see the shape through there is definitely the same sort of cone shape as we get at about 20%. So I think that's really interesting to see. And it is a very even cone. If I look at it from multiple sides, it's a little bit tapered towards one side than the other. And that's, it is a cheap, relatively speaking, glass tube. So I don't expect them to have set it up perfectly. I think it's very interesting to see as we get a more stable arc inside the tube, it starts to go from this ring around just the outside of the beam to very much so this center weighted point. I wonder if that can be used for engraving or something to get, I don't know, it's gonna give a wider spot. So I'm not sure if we can utilize that. If you've got any ideas, leave a comment below. Be really interested to hear your thoughts. Uh, if you've had similar experience with lasers or tried this in the past, I'd be really interested to see what your thoughts are. Thank you very much for watching. Love it if you're interested in lasers or other woodworking tools to hit subscribe, click the bell for notifications. Have a fantastic day.